What's going on there YouTube and welcome back to another comic book video. This is the channel where we sit down and cover different comic book stories from different comic book companies. Today we are going to jump back over to Marvel Comics and continue our coverage over Stan Slott's Fantastic Four run. Now we do pick up with volume 3 actually rather than volume 2. And the reason why because volume 2 was just a wedding volume. It was Ben Grimm getting married to Alicia Masters which was great and all but honestly I felt like it was not good enough to have its own video. And so with that being said we're going to go ahead and dive into volume 3. Now at the end of volume 2 the Fantastic Four got a message from Doctor Doom that Galactus is attacking Earth and right now he's attacking Latveria, the home country that Doctor Doom rules over. And Doctor Doom told the Fantastic Four, do not bother coming here, he can handle it on his own. But of course, the Fantastic Four have to go there because Reed made a deal with Galactus that Galactus will not come to Earth anymore to try to destroy the Earth. And so right now with Volume 3, we're going to pick up with the Fantastic Four going to help Doctor Doom fight against Galactus. So if you do enjoy today's comic book video, please hit that like button down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read, well, please let me know in the comments below because you never know, your suggestion could be a future video down the road. But I do hope you enjoy. And so when we jump into Fantastic Four number six, we actually pick up with Doctor Doom trying to get his country ready to fight against Galactus. Now, it's not like he's making everyone work there to fight against a Galactus. It's really more of him and a bunch of Doombots and also some warrior that he named Victorious as a way to actually help him fight against Galactus because this is him trying to prove a point that he is smarter than Reed Richards. When it comes to Victor Von Doom, throughout time in Marvel Comics, he always says he is the most smartest person on the planet. And usually in Marvel Comics, that is up in debate between him, Reed Richards, and the daughter of Reed, Val Richards. Those three are usually known as the top three smartest people in Marvel Comics. But again, this is him trying to prove a point that he can be the one to actually stop Galactus from destroying the Earth. But that is the moment he does get a red alert that the Fantastic Four are entering in, into his country. And remember, he told the Fantastic Four, do not come here at all. I can handle this on my own. But of course, they still came. And so now he is upset that they're there. And now he's going to make Victorious one of his great warriors to be the one to actually handle the Fantastic Four. Now, as the Fantastic Four are entering into the country, that is when you actually have Reed Rich realize that something powerful is coming their way. Matter of fact, it's reading off as a cosmic level being. And so for the Fantastic Four, at first they're thinking that it could be Galactus, but in reality they know it must be something that Doctor Doom is using. And of course, it is his new warrior, Victorious. Now we actually met Victorious back in our first Fantastic Four video. Matter of fact, she was the one who found Doctor Doom hiding out in his castle, and she was the one to actually convince him to come out of hiding and take back his country and be the one true ruler. And so with that being said, he did give her some kind of cosmic power. And the question is, how did he do that in the first place? But either way, she calls herself Victorious and she also calls herself the Herald of Doom, meaning that she works for Doom and she's one of the powerful characters underneath Doom's control. But right now, she is tasked of handling the Fantastic Four. Now, you do have Victorious actually being able 
to destroy the Fantastic Four car. So now they're stuck there in Latveria. But that is the moment you actually have Reed Richards realize something. That when it comes to Galactus, it's crazy how as soon as Galactus had arrived on Earth, that is the same moment that Doctor Doom also got a herald. Meaning that it's crazy how one cosmic being came here at the same time Dr. Doom was able to get another cosmic being. Meaning that Dr. Doom could be up to something when it comes to Galactus. And matter of fact, you do have Victoria say that Dr. Doom gave her cosmic powers as a way to return the favor for her convincing Dr. Doom to come out of hiding to basically take back over his country once again. But then we actually jump over to the battle between Dr. Doom and Galactus. Now this battle is really interesting because it's Doctor Doom actually thinking that he can go toe to toe with Galactus, which is kind of crazy to say. But you actually have Galactus tell Doctor Doom, like, listen, I'm a universal being. I am really, really powerful. And here you come with your basic level magic, thinking that you'll be able to actually defeat me. And you have Galactus just slap Dr. Doom away like it was no big deal. But that is the moment you actually have Dr. Doom tell us and Galactus that this was a misdirection to keep Galactus busy on Dr. Doom so that Dr. Doom robot can actually go on with the master plan Dr. Doom had cooked up. Now this is one of the biggest moments when it comes to Dr. Doom because he has his Doom boss actually mess with the regulators that belong to Galactus. Now these regulators usually help Galactus kind of feed off his hunger when it comes to him wanting to feed on different planets across the universe but with the doom bots actually messing with these regulators that is the moment we come to find out that he was actually able to change what kind of makes galactus hunger meaning that he's no longer wanting to eat a planet he's now after something else and that something else is actually on earth now there is one quick page to tell us what is going on with Franklin and Val Richards, the kids to Sue and Reed Richards? Well, we do know right now they're staying with Alicia Masters and also staying with Ben Grimm parents for the time being as the Fantastic Four try to deal with Doctor Doom. And the reason why I mention this is because it's going to begin the subplot in this story we're covering today. But that is the moment we actually jump over to the Fantastic Four, Doctor Doom, and Victorious. Now, right when we jump over to them, we actually see Victorious defeating the Human Torch. And honestly, it's not that important. It's just something I do want to mention because the Human Torch has a crush on the girl, man. Like this dude is trying to get her number while fighting against her. But that is the moment you actually have Reed realize something, what Dr. Doom did. With Dr. Doom changing the hunger of Galactus to make Galactus hunger for something else, well of course, the one thing he now hungers is cosmic powers. And the only other being in the area that has that cosmic power is Victorious. And so basically, Dr. Doom made Victorious to be a lure for Galactus to bring him to this spot. Now for Reed, he's kind of like, I feel like you're going to mess up here, Dr. Doom. Like, I feel like with all this planning you did, you're still going to mess up. And you have Dr. Doom just be Dr. Doom and say, dude, do you know who I am? I'm Dr. Doom. I don't mess up. Every single thing happening right now is because I planned it to happen. And right now, it's time for the next part of my master plan. Now, with Galactus, we actually see him doing some kind of damage to Victorious. Because thanks to Dr. Doom, 
changing the hunger in Galactus to hunger now for cosmic beings across the universe, now you have Galactus just attacking Victorious, just draining the power from her. And to Reed, she could possibly die. And after she died, Galactus could still try to get rid of the Earth. And so right now, everyone is kind of freaking out except Doctor Doom because he planned all this. He's trying to get Galactus to a certain spot. And the reason why I say that is because out of nowhere, you have Dr. Doom actually bring up these big, huge cannons that can actually do damage to Galactus. And they're pushing him to a specific spot. Matter of fact, you even have Dr. Doom order the Human Torch in the thing to help attack Galactus to push him in that correct direction. On top of that, you also have Susan Storm kind of protecting the innocent people in the area. And so right now, the Fantastic Four are kind of working for Doctor Doom. And on top of that, he also has cameras to record everything and to show the world what is happening right at this moment. The Fantastic Four are helping Doctor Doom defeat Galactus. Now let's not forget about Franklin and Val Richards, the kid of Reed and Susan Richard, because right now they're staying with Alicia Masters, Ben Grimm parents, and Wyatt Wingfoot, Wingfoot, sorry, one of the friends of the Fantastic Four. And right now the kids should be asleep, but of course, when Alicia and Wyatt go check up on the kids, well, the kids have snuck into the garage and they're trying to build a teleporter to actually go help the Fantastic Four with the Doctor Doom problem. Now, honestly, this may seem like it's not very important, but actually it is kind of important because outside we see some kind of demonic creatures watching Franklin and Val being forced to go back to bed. But getting back over to Latveria, that is the moment where we actually see Dr. Doom explain what he is trying to do. He's trying to basically fix Galactus because right after Secret Wars, Marvel kind of did a thing with Galactus where instead of him being this cosmic being that went around the universe destroying different planets, he was actually supposed to be a cosmic being known as the life bringer, bringing life into the universe. And so Doctor Doom is actually trying to turn Galactus into what he was supposed to be once again the life bringer. Now for Reed and Sue, they were not around when this happened, but for Ben Grimm and the Human Torch, they saw that. And they're kind of like, yeah, that actually did happen. And honestly, if Dr. Doom is trying to do that, well, that is a good thing then. And this leads us into the next conversation I want to have, which is the ultimate nullifier. The Ultimate Nullifier is one of the most powerful weapons in Marvel Comics, where it has the ability to blink something or someone out of existence. Meaning that if someone does uses it, they're actually able to blink something or someone else out of existence like they never did exist at all in the universe. And right now you have Reed pretend that he had the Ultimate Nullifier as a way to kind of keep Galactus kind of freaking out so that they can push him in the correct direction that Doctor Doom wants Galactus to be in. But of course, Reed does not have the ultimate nullifier at all. But getting back into Doctor Doom's plan, let's not forget that Doctor Doom did tell the Fantastic Four that he was trying to make Galactus be the life bringer once again. But that was a complete lie because right off the bat, when the Fantastic Four are able to get Galactus in that specific spot that Doctor Doom wanted him to be in, which is in the mountains, that is when we see Galactus is being absorbed into the mountain. And you have the Fantastic Four wondering what in the world is happening right now to Galactus. Doctor Doom just lied to the Fantastic Four, but before they are able to actually do something to him, well, that is the moment he basically brings up the idea 
that the Fantastic Four are trespassing in a country they are not supposed to be in. Because when it comes to Latveria, if you don't have that pass to come in, you are technically trespassing in Latveria, which means right now the Fantastic Four are going to be held as prisoners of Doctor Doom. And right now, he is going to sentence them to death for trespassing in Latveria. But that is the moment where we actually learn what Doctor Doom was trying to do with Galactus. Because when we get into the next chapter, we see Galactus has become a living battery for Latveria for the moment. But later on, Doctor Doom actually plans to give the rest of the world this power source that he was able to get which is Galactus. Because with Galactus being a cosmic being, this is a new kind of energy that could really make the world a better place. And so it's Doctor Doom trying to be a good guy, but still at the same time, he's still trying to show the world that he is smarter than Reed Richards. But let's not forget that Doctor Doom also had captured the Fantastic Four. Yes, the Fantastic Four did help out Doctor Doom with capturing Galactus, but at the same time, he did not tell them to come to Latveria. Matter of fact, he did tell the world that he does not want any help at all when it came to him dealing with Galactus. But Doctor Doom knew that Reed Richards and the rest of the Fantastic Four would still come to help him out. Because with Galactus being so powerful, they need all hands on deck. But on top of that, Reed was kind of confused on why Galactus was there. Because a long time ago, Reed and Galactus had made a deal that Galactus would not come to Earth to try to eat it. But either way though, Doctor Doom did not tell the Fantastic Four, yes, you may come to Latveria to help me out. Instead, he said, you guys trespass. I told y'all I didn't want y'all here. Yes, you did help, but you guys still trespass. But on top of that, we come to find out that Doctor Doom had made four different prison cells as a way to hold the Fantastic Four. Because with Doctor Doom, have been battling the Fantastic Four for so long, he knew what he can use to kind of contain them in a different room. And so right now, the Fantastic Four are his prisoners and they were sentenced to death. And sooner or later, Doctor Doom could possibly kill them, even though we know he won't do it. Now we do pick up with Franklin Richards, who is right now having a nightmare. Now let's not forget, that after the ending of Secret Wars 2015, Reed, Sue, Franklin, and Val went on a mission to recreate the multiverse because the powers of Franklin Richards gives them the ability to create universes across the multiverse. But here's the thing though. In our last video, we met a character known as the Griever. And the Griever's goal is to grieve at the end of all things. That means the end of all life across the multiverse. And so with Franklin Richards recreating the multiverse, it kind of ruins her plans to grieve at the end of all time. And so we saw her in our last video destroying the multiverse that Franklin had just built. And so in his nightmare, he's being hunted by all the lives that were lost thanks to the Griever. But at the same time, it is Griever in his nightmare telling him that he is going to fail, that she is going to ruin everything that he had built up. And so with that nightmare, he does wake up freaking out. And honestly, I don't blame him because when it comes to Franklin Richards, He's just a teenager and he was going around the multiverse recreating it and then out of nowhere a villain comes in and kills every single living being that he had created. And so he does leave the house that belongs to Ben Grimm's parents as a way to get some fresh air. But while he is leaving, we do see more demonic creatures watching him and the question is what is going on 
with Franklin Richards. But getting back over to Doctor Doom, well that is the moment we come to find out that Doctor Doom is broadcasting all over the world. He's forcing everyone to watch him talk on their television about how he was able to capture Galactus and make Galactus become a living battery. And with him being a living battery, he plans to give out this new power source across the entire planet. But then he moves on to show the world that he was also able to capture the Fantastic Four and how he's going to kill them very soon. Now how he's going to kill them is he is going to send a high amount of unpure cosmic energy into their prison cells which of course will kill off the Fantastic Four very quickly. Now that is the moment where we actually see Franklin Richards run into a character known as Wendy. Now Wendy is an old character all the way back from Fantastic Four number 239. Now in that book right there, what happened was Wendy was a young girl raised by her abusive father. Her abusive father, of course, abused her. But here's the thing. In the area of Benson, Arizona, there are a group of demons known as friends. And every 10,000 years, they come out to judge the people in the city. And if they feel like someone in that city is bad, they show that person their darkest fears, if I remember correctly. And so that what happened to Wendy's father. He saw a lot of bad things and that made him actually be a good father to Wendy. But Wendy actually stayed friends with the friends and so now they still live in Benson, Arizona. And so the demon creatures we have been seeing that have been following Franklin around are those creatures right there. Now, this is the big moment for Reed Richards because he was able to figure out what is wrong with Dr. Doom's plan to make Galactus be a living battery. Because you have Reed say, with Galactus being that living battery, he has been causing small earthquakes across the world. But sooner or later, it's going to rock the Earth off its orbit and then going to end all life across the entire planet. But then on top of that, you didn't have Reed call out to Ben, Johnny, and Sue to show Dr. Doom that once again, he does not know the Fantastic Four like he thinks he does. And so that is the moment you actually have Reed and the rest of the Fantastic Four begin the process of actually breaking out of their cells to battle against Doctor Doom, but to also free Galactus. And it all starts when Susan Storm uses her ability to make the clothes of Doctor Doom go transparent. And that is very huge because he's not shy about his body or what's going on down there. He is shy about his face because when it comes to Doctor Doom's face, it is scarred. It is badly scarred but he does have to remind him about his failures in his past life. But he also does not want anyone to see his scarred face. And so with him doing that, he begins to freak out. But of course, when that happened, he was still broadcasting on live television across the entire planet. And so this man is now completely embarrassed. Now there is another reason why this is the big moment for the Fantastic Four. The reason why is because this is the moment you have Susan Storm explain how close the Fantastic Four truly are. Because with the Fantastic Four spending so much time with one another, they have learned something from each other to help them get out of tight places. For example, for Johnny, he is able to change the pressure around him because instead of releasing heat, he can also absorb heat. With him changing the pressure, he was able to break the glass. Read, it, he is able to push himself through the pain. The other two weren't really big moments, but the Fantastic Four were able to break out. But of course, you have Victorious teleport Doctor Doom somewhere else because he is so embarrassed by the way he looked and the world can see him. But then we pick up with Wyatt Wingfoot, where we see him right now trying to find Franklin, 
which he is able to do. Of course, Franklin is still with Wendy, but when Wyatt grabs Franklin, well, that is the moment the friend demons that are friends with Wendy begin to attack Wyatt, and he has no choice but to grab Franklin and get the heck out of there because the friend demons actually kill him or try to kill him for taking Franklin. Switching back to the Fantastic Four, we see them breaking into Doom Castle because Reed needs to find a way to fix all the problems that Doctor Doom has caused with Doctor Doom capturing Galactus to make Galactus a living battery. They need to find a way to free him because with Galactus being a living battery, it is causing earthquakes and sooner or later, it is going to knock the Earth off its orbit, killing all lives on the planet. The first thing Reed needs to do is to grab the staff from Victorious because that is the moment he realized that the staff is not a weapon for Victorious to use. It is actually a staff to help her control her powers. But with him using the staff, it will be enough energy to help him free Galactus from the mountains. But also, that is the moment we actually see him using the big cannons that Doctor Doom used earlier and reverse them to help them release Galactus from his prison. But here comes the big thing. With Galactus being free, that means he still hungers. Hungers for cosmic powers. You would think that means he will continue to try to feed off Victorious or try to find other beings of cosmic energy. Except he doesn't. He reabsorbs the energy that Doctor Doom had taken from him and then leaves the earth. The reason why is because Galactus made a deal with Reed Richards and promised him that he will never try to destroy the earth. So Galactus leaves. Back in Arizona, we see Franklin, Wyatt, Ben Grimm parents on the run from the friends demons. So right now they are calling Val Richard to finish her teleporter that she was trying to make earlier as a way to teleport them away from this problem. But skipping back over to Laveria, we actually see Dr. Doom is still upset with the idea that Reed Richard had once again fixed his plans. Because of Dr. Doom, he really thought his plan was bulletproof that nothing was going to happen, except of course, he almost killed the entire world. Either way, that is the moment a teleport portal opens up, a bunch of friend demons come out of nowhere and begin the process of attacking Doctor Doom, and then the Fantastic Four are teleported away. Of course, that tells us that the Fantastic Four were saved at the last second by Val Richard because she was able to complete the teleporter and then of course she used it to save the Fantastic Four and she was also able to save the rest of the group from the friend demons who were chasing after Wyatt and Franklin earlier. But this is where we are going to end today's comic book video. So please hit the like button down below and subscribe. Also, if you have any suggestions on books I should read well please let me know in the comments below because you never know your suggestion could be a future video down the road but I do hope you enjoy today's comic book video.